Glow sticks. Fun toys that glow when you bend them. But have you ever wondered how these things just magically light up? Well, let's learn how exactly glow sticks, well, glow. Now, before we get into answering this question, we need to note how exactly this light comes about. It's created using the power of something called chemiluminescence. That's a big word. Chemiluminescence is when a reaction between two compounds causes a release of energy in the form of light. In more simpler words, chemiluminescence is when a chemical reaction causes light. Now, how exactly does this translate into glow sticks? Now, a glow stick is made up of the liquid in the glow stick, but even inside of that, there's a vial, which contains a hydrogen peroxide solution. This is known as the activator. The liquid it's floating in is a solution called dye, phenyl oxalate, plus a glowing fluorescent dye. This dye is what exactly gives the color to the glow stick. When you break or bend a glow stick, the vial inside is broken, letting the activator mix with the rest of the solution. As a result, a chemical reaction occurs, causing the electrons in the solution to get excited, releasing energy in the form of light. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? That's right, it's the process of chemiluminescence. Now, the reason why glow sticks will go out after a while is because the reaction ends, but we can actually alter how long it takes for a glow stick's light to go out. But how? The answer to this is actually temperature. By cooling a glow stick, the light will last for longer as the reaction will be slower, but the light might also be dimmer. On the other hand, if you warm up the glow stick, the reaction will be faster so the light won't last as long, but it will be way more brighter. Now, we looked into the composition of a glow stick, we looked into how exactly they work, and we also looked into what we can do to make a glow stick last longer or glow brighter. Thanks so much for watching! If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe.